But like, let's try to get uh, Tainted Judas completely done. Best run ever, four, five, six. That's I'm telling you, Jay. Thank you for the the claps. The claps from a verified streamer mean mean that much more. You should also, if you're in chat, you should say thank you, Jay. Um, because it's only as a result of watching about 45 minutes of Jay streaming on the weekend that I know about anything that happened at E3, basically at all. Oh, the owns, owns. That's how I saw the Forza trailer. That's how I saw the Battlefield trailer. That's how I saw the Replace trailer. That's how I saw all that stuff. Good. Very good. Interesting. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's good. I guess we'll joke her once right off the bat. That's true. I did I did see Chib's, uh, Chib and Justin streaming yesterday. So I saw it. A, but, I, I mean, by the time I got to Chib's stream, it was a little messy. <laughs> Like, by the time I got to... I, I mean, I guess that maybe they were doing it before that I got there, but, like, by the time I got there, they were just talking over the trailer and everything was playing in, uh... in 1.5 times speed. So I didn't really pick up the... Uh, the nuances of some of the stuff that was getting announced. I had fun though, that's the important part. I did have fun. They didn't either? What? Ugh, dude, I don't have a key. I was amazed though that um, even as, as it got a little fuzzier through the night, they always kept it in mind when the drinking triggers happened. They were like, you know, even if they were in the middle of a conversation, they were like, no release date! <laughs> Drink! Now, I'm not saying I haven't been there. And I don't mean on vacation. Have you ever thrown up on an airplane? No, I have not. Um... But I, when they were talking about it yesterday, um... But in advance of, uh, oh, we need to we need to keep a key so that we can we can get a key on the next floor and 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 continue on true ending. I'm I'm for it. Let's 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 let it ride here. Um, that's true. We did have a two of diamonds too. Ah, well, nevertheless, um, I they were saying like not only have I never puked on an airplane, their words, but also I've never seen anybody throw up on an airplane. I have seen someone throw up on an airplane. But it was not um noteworthy. It was just it was literally just like I didn't want to tell the story because it was like it's just that guy throwing up, you know? He was just very nauseous and appeared to be like quite anxious as well. <laughs> That was, the, and I, I kind of wanted to throw up on the same flight because somebody, it was a little Alaska Airlines flight from Vancouver to Seattle. Someone brought an egg salad sandwich onto that thing and cracked it open mid-flight. You're like, it's, it's a 23-minute-long flight on like a, a 50-person little aircraft. Like you couldn't just wait until you landed in SeaTac to eat the world's smelliest sandwich. Like, what's wrong with you? That's, it is a Mike Burbigli a bit. For one, but I would also add, as much as I love Mike Berbiglia, it's like the one bit where I'm like, hey man, you might want to rethink this one. You should stop eating egg salad sandwich, or I think he's eating the peanut butter, so I can't remember, but... An egg salad sandwich is too stinky to eat on an airplane without being judged. You can eat it on the plane, but I'm gonna judge you. Or you could leave it at home and be a good Samaritan. It's up to you. It's not illegal to, to eat an egg salad sandwich. It's just a little inconsiderate.
It is a very, it's a stinky sandwich, man. When people say it doesn't smell, you need to go to the hospital immediately. I think I can do this. I wish I kept that two of diamonds, though. I'll tell you that much. It might smell good, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, that's that's more about how you feel about egg salad. That's not that's not for me to judge. I'm not a big egg salad fan. I find it a little a little nauseating. I'm gonna leave it. I'm I'm a new man. I'm leaving that, dude. Ah, uh, you should have jokered next floor for an angel deal. My friend. I have a Joker card in my inventory as we speak. Oh, wait. But I took the deal with the devil. I see your point. I don't know, though. I mean, okay. Angel deals, there's no doubt they're better. Not just good, but they're better than devil deals. But devil deals, they still got some, they got some heat to them, man. I mean, you're not, you're not getting brimstone in an angel deal. Copy my homework. Don't make it too obvious. They give you angelic brimstone. People are like, Pog! It's even better than real brimstone as long as you ignore the fact it takes three hours to charge. I gotta think about that room. That, that, we're not taking Dunscap, I'll tell you that much, but... We gotta think about that room. That's, that's what we gotta do. You took money equals power, which is a poopy three hard deal. Um, you know, I all I can say, I'm, I, you know, I, I haven't read uh, IGN's guide to the best items in Isaac. Everything I know, I learned through like ob on the job training. So I don't know what like your professors in Isaac Academia who have spent their lives uh, studying what the world might look like if they stepped outside of their old musty offices. Um, everything that I've learned, I've learned from actually interfacing with the game. So I'm going to keep uh, doing what I do. They can keep doing what they do, which is living in the hypotheticals. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top. First, I'm going to go to this boss trap room. Probably going to pick up Squeezy and get two spirit hearts out of it, if, you, if that's cool with you. Like, if that's cool with you, I'm going to go in here and get Squeezy. This close. This close to the ultimate clip, dude. It's freaking close. He will never get larger tears. Go ahead, man. By the way, while I'm here, how the heck does um, the Trackmania Battle Royale work? Is it like Eliminator, where there's a circle? Or is it like... Uh, if you come in last, you get eliminated, or if you don't make it to, through the course by a time limit, you get eliminated. Like, what, what's up with that? It's car fall, guys. I think you said that with a little sneer, but I find myself, nevertheless, he pogged. Nevertheless, he pogged. Okay, we don't have to worry about red stew anymore. Unfortunately, um, just thinking, just thinking for a moment. So I actually, it's because someone in chat said, if that's what it is, I'm buying it. You don't need to, uh, I, I, I've heard that you can just play the BR on the free tier of Trackmania, which is good because anybody who is still paying for a subscription uh, for that game would probably beat me easily. So I want as many free-to-play uh, Fernandos as possible in the game. Because it gives me a better chance, even if, if not to win, at least to survive. I'm taking a chance, by the way, because I, I need to make chat ashamed of their words and their deeds. They'd much rather, and by chat I mean that one person, and by that one person I mean everybody. They, uh, 
They want, they, they, hey, this run's good, but you know what would make it better? If instead of having money equals power and the ability to fly, you had Guardian Angel. So we, we, gotta, we gotta stack up as many statistical benefits as possible here, so they, they learn the error of their ways. Owns. Ah, uh, thank you. Anyway, those are my thoughts on E3. One billion percent. I'll, I'll play the new Forza. I didn't think you were the boss. <laughs> I thought, uh, I, in my head, I was like, it's the one that shoots the things out and spins. Well, get clipped. I almost just ran into you. Guardian Angel could have saved me there. Oh, I can't fly anymore. Yeah, I um, I still have not watched the Elden Ring trailer. And like I, I've I've said it before, but it's like, like I don't need to. If if it comes up ambiently, or I just remember in my head, like I got some, you know, oh, I'd really like this. Like I I don't know it. It's weird, because I don't want to say, like, I'm not interested. The, the the thing I'm actually saying, I guess, is, like, I'm so interested that I don't need to see the trailer. If that makes sense. It's, and it's not even, like, a spoiler thing. It's just, like... I just, uh, yeah, it, it's not even really, like, a, like a categorical choice I'm trying to make. Like, oh, I'm better than the marketing or something. It's just, like... I don't need to see the ad, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, for sure. Yeah, stop, stop. He's already alive. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> hey, that's a valuable 45 seconds out of my day that I could drain myself with. Aren't you curious about the gameplay? Not really. No. No, not not really. I I'm, I'm I'm just gonna get it. I guess. I have I have uh, without seeing the trailer, I'll admit that I just have in my head an idea of what it's gonna be like, which is like Dark Souls, maybe like plus a horse or something like that, because I've seen some tweets about like a horse, but. It's all I got, man, it's, and it's all I need. How does he know? Third-person weapon with rolling plus horse. See, it's, it, I already know it's up my alley. It's just this strange stance to take. Well, it's not a stance. The stance is not like, I will never watch this. The stance is just like, you know, if it came on, I wouldn't turn it off, but I'm also like, you know, I'm not gonna go out of my way to to put it on. There's a meet the parents reference in the trailer. Skrrr! I hope it's when Ben Stiller says Little Kim is fat, and then he gets embarrassed and he has to clarify that he means with the ph. There's a turkey ass reference. <laughs> Dude, uh, un Undead Hollows in Dark Souls 1 do be kind of looking like the turkey ass uh, prop from Norbit, though. No joke. Farticus, <laughs> hello again. Hello and thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the gifted subscriptions. Farticus, thank you. I didn't watch any bad things on Netflix the, uh, within the last 24 hours. Oh, Daniel, thank you for the raid. Allow me to apologize, by the way, Daniel. I didn't realize that the messages you sent me uh, about Dr. Michael Burry were, were sensitive. I, I thought that they were, they were there to be uh, riffed upon, and I apologize. It's a, it's a tongue-in-cheek apology, but it's also a sincere apology. As my misinterpretation. I pass. 
By the way, and I, you know, I know why you, you know you, you missed it because you were watching my good friend Daniel play some Isaac. But I will say you did just miss one. Well, we we had a death about a minute ago, but like prior to that, you missed an all-time great. And it, it was not merely a solid run. It, uh, it 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 broke new ground. It did some things that I've never seen before. Hold on. The second floor? Let, let's... Let's make a little Mia culpa to chat. And go for the uh, angel deals this time. A little Mia culpa. But anyway, I have, I have not... Watched anything garbage in the last 24 hours. But within the last 48 hours, I did watch uh, Corky Romano. But... It was while I was playing Team Fight Tactics. So I needed something mindless to focus on while I got my ass beat in in, uh, in TFT. Which was worse? Team Fight Tactics, but Corky Romano is really bad. The one thing I will say though is Corky Romano and I, I, this Isaac episode is coming out at some point. I don't want to like shoot my whole uh, wad on that one and then get drained potentially but like i i want to see if maybe there's like a, a still image of corky romano being electrocuted because it's some of the worst cgi i've ever seen in my entire life let me let me see corky romano torture scene corky romano I, all, all I can really say, Cor Corky Romano electricity? Corky Romano shock? Well, I, I can't find an image. I, I can only find an image of uh, Chris Kattan with jumper cables attached to his nipples. However, he, um, he gets shocked by these jumper cables, but they just, like, draw on his chest with, like, a, an electric blue gel pen. It looks so f horrible, dude. It's so bad. But that makes it kind of good. That's all I got. FBI, open up. I don't think it's illegal. I guess I did Google uh, Chris Kattan torture. But I don't think it's, you know, I was just looking for his thoughts on waterboarding. It's two very different things. There's nothing illegal about that. At least I'm not... Tweeting out like a Shrek meme about pipe bombs, huh, Chibli? He's probably still asleep, but... You had to be there. We're going too deep in the, uh, in the NLSS <laughs> Extended Universe. <laughs> just watch the scene. It is pretty bad. Yeah, like, it's just, it's not even, like, the tone. It's just, like, the actual, like, visual effects are horrible. I mean, it is a movie starring Chris Kattan. Like, I didn't expect them to send their best, uh, FX guys after it, but still. You gotta check. You, absolutely, you must check, and then we- I think we just buy this anyway. Free spirit heart. Well, we're well worth it. I felt like I was doing so well. I mean, it's good, but it's, it's not as good as, uh, you know, you could uh, maybe assume. Anyway. Yeah, I'm excited to check out that Trackmania BR. I do expect that I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, but that's okay. It's just that game. I proved myself in the marketplace of ideas yesterday. That's the important part.
Okay, never mind. Free spirit heart. It's better than the shop. We out. Speed down is fine here. I'm not sweating it. If you win, you need to remember all the BRs you've ever won. Ah, uh, it's easier just to name the ones uh, I haven't won at this point. Zom's Royale Solo. It's an empty list. Exactly. Find the difference between these two images. I have decided, by the way, for anyone following my my hockey uh, tangents, I have decided that I'm I'm willing to bury the hatchet with the Las Vegas Golden Knights. I'm now rooting for them to win the Stanley Cup, and I know what you're saying, NL. Why would you do that? It's because I'm so desperate for them to lose that I am willing to root for them in order to hopefully naively maintain the hope that this will impart some sort of curse upon them. That as a result, divine intervention comes in and, and does the rest of the work for me. That's, that's my hope. Sports superstition, exactly. <clears throat> that boss was so easy. Play auto chess with Apollo, you scum. They got it. Look. It's even less likely that I'll play auto chess now because I've already got TFT. Apollo's, uh, his stubbornness and refusal to, to play anything but the mod version of, of an auto battler is like... It, it's going to limit the opportunities. I thought you hated TFT? I do, but then, like, why would I go... Like, if I already hate the one version of the game, I'm not going to rush out and be like, oh, let me get, like, an even less polished one. You know, it's like, oh, you... You, you had, like, fish, and you don't like it, and you're like, oh, but try this. It's, like, it's Haddock. And you're like, Haddock's not even a top-tier fish. It's just... It's just sort of there. It's just, like, it's kind of like white meat seafood, right? Like, if it was a salmon or something, I'd consider it, but you're like, you really... You, you came out here, you're like, oh, you hated halibut? Oh, try smelt. Come on, like... Doesn't even make any sense, man. Jim Gaffigan ask bit. I know I'm not gonna insult Jim Gaffigan, okay? Seems like a nice guy. Was I about to suggest that like almost all of his bits are like I'm chubby. <laughs> that was I'm so mad that that impression was, like, kind of good. Because it's, it makes it way more offensive. <laughs> I apologize. I think he's a clever guy, don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, it, is the humor perhaps directed at my aunt? Yes. And that's fine. My aunt needs to laugh, too. Ever since the incident. But we won't speak on that. <clears throat> yeah, I think... I, I don't know him, but I would like to think that he would laugh at hearing that joke. Because it was pretty funny, at least by my standards. If he's not laughing at that one, he's not laughing at too much. That is coming out of my mouth. I w would like to receive a key, please. Thank you. Which car brand has the worst drivers? Okay. Right now, 
the classic answer is BMW. Everyone's gonna say BMW. But I, I will say I now live in a city where literally every fifth car you see is the cheapest Tesla Model, Model 3 you can find so that you can still get the um, provincial rebate for buying an electric car. And they're starting to... I'm definitely starting to run into some Tesla drivers where I'm like, you know, these things aren't really driving themselves like yet. Like, you still gotta... You gotta have some input, I think. Like, why are you parked in the middle of the street? But, uh, I, and I, I think it'll probably get worse for a while, but those are, those are my answers right now. There's definitely, like, the, the, the car, and I've said this before, and I'm not saying everybody, but the, the car that strikes the most fear into me, there's, there's a few of them when I see them on the road. Uh, one is, white bmw suv i'm just like give them some space another one is like i see a lot of the the porsche suv that's one level below the 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 cayenne i can't remember what is the taycan maybe or, or whatever it whatever is there the macan that's right and they're it, i mean they're like pretty much all suvs i i must admit Taycan is the electric one. Okay, yeah, the, the Macan. I see, like, a, a a purple Porsche Macan. I find myself being, like, don't park next to them in the grocery store. You're going to get all scratched up like an old record. That's about it. Like, I see a lot of people talking about, like, um, you know, truck drivers and stuff like that. Like, like, pickup trucks. I hate when I end up going through, like, a tight alley and there's a chevy silverado or like a ford f-350 dually and i'm like what are you doing in the city like i'm not saying you can't have one it just seems a little impractical uh but my stereotype at least is that the car is kind of impractical for the narrow city streets however the drivers usually appear to be quite competent in my opinion in my experience i should say the drivers you know they the car is large, but they seem to know what they're doing with it. The worst is, I mean, the other one that comes up here a lot is people that are driving a Fiat 500, which is, like, literally the smallest, like, compact car that you can get. And they drive it as if it's, like, 40 feet wide. It's like they, they think they can't fit into, like, a standard road, despite the fact that you're driving, the, like, a car that's more narrow than the average bicycle. Red stew, huh? I don't know if this... I, I, look, we don't have money equals power. We take this. We might leave red stew till the end here. But I think we could probably... manage to make red stew last until the the final fight if, if we play our cards right here it's hyundai elantras dude i saw an elantra the other day is that that's the i i thought it was like a pontiac sunfire but it's actually like kind of a sports car or i don't know if this was like a i mean it's styled to be like a little sportier i guess and maybe that's the new model. I know, like, essentially nothing about cars, man. Like, I'm just being honest with you. They do go fast sometimes. Okay, I'm not gonna forget the knife piece. I should have done it earlier. I'm not gonna forget it, though. Anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> My dad drove a fancy Mini Cooper, and honestly, those are in the running. Honestly, I do. I, I mean, it, it's kind of like the, the Fiat 500. I see a lot of the, the Mini Cooper... Um, what is it called? Like the Everyman or the Countryman, the Journeyman or something like that. I see a lot of those. But again, I always... I just imagine that Charlize Theron or Mark Wahlberg is driving them. Clubman. That's it. And I'm like, then when they make like a bold move, I'm like, nah, man, they're just like doing a heist. It's not, uh, 
It's not like a, a... They're not double parked. They're just stealing the crown jewels right now. AMND Om. Thanks for the, uh, the gifted subscription. Thank you. But I, will, I don't think that the model of the car makes you a worse driver. The worst kind of driver, in my opinion, is the driver who makes their car their whole person. Well, okay, the worst kind of driver is incompetent and dangerous. The second worst kind of driver is the driver who makes their car their identity. So even when they're like just driving, you know, to the store, they're like, bring, 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 and you're like, I get it. Like, you, I'm watching you pull into like the boba tea place right now with a coupon, but congratulations. Like, you gotta, you know, you got the cheapest Porsche Macan that they had at the dealership. Like, I'm, I'm happy for you. But at the same time, like, we're just trying to live our lives here, and you're just, you're, I have a B, I have a Porsche, I got a Porsche, Porsche. I'm like, the speed limit is 20 kilometers an hour. What are you doing? Porsche. Porsche. Okay, that's, I apologize. Ferrari, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Sorry, that's okay. I apologize. Hey, drop a fry. Dude, somebody on the Vancouver subreddit posted a video of a crow drinking a beer on Granville Island. It's pretty wild. Oh, the, the, the knife piece, the knife piece. There we go. <laughs> Sounds like a cool crow. Yeah, man. I don't know. I mean, it was just... It, it had, like, a beer. I mean, it wasn't holding, like, a bottle in its claw or anything like that. It was just drinking out of, like, a, some kind of cup on the ground. But... It's like, crows are crazy, dude. Miss, for a dollar, drop a beer? You seen the video of a crow drinking a beer? Jamie, can you pull that up? I, lo I love that. I, I've seen it a hundred times, but I watch it every time. Where it's like, it's just so crazy that you could put a, a monetary value on a human life. Like, it's such a strange concept. Yo, did you see that video of the guy who hit the deer with his car? No, I didn't. Oh, shit, Jamie, pull that up. It's so good. <laughs> Kiss me every time, man. Yeah, we have, we have smart cars in uh, in Canada as well. You really don't see them too much. There used to be a, and I, I think it's actually a European company. I know that like they're Mercedes uh, owned brand for the smart car, but there used to be like a, a micro car rental service here called Car to Go um, that used smart cars, so you could rent them like by the hour, but really by the by the kilometer. Um, and uh, you would see smart cars like crazy as a result of that. Uh, they moved out of here, so now all you get is uh, Evos. And I think Evos are like predominantly either like Priuses or Camrys, I'm not sure. Um, so you don't see that many smart cars here anymore, but y you see them on occasion. Now and then. Excuse me, things are going to be a little spicy here, for just a bit. Evo is Priuses. I figured. We got a fish for something. Oh, that's exactly what I was fishing for. Like, this, this floor is really, I think, what's going to determine whether we have any shot at this one. And I think we could. Like, the run is, is good. We do have 40 damage right now. Do the, do the fires scale with your damage? Because if not, we should not be using them right now. I don't think they do. I think, I think we should stick with our tears for now. 
F. I, I had to ice you first. I'm, I'm thrilled that that went as well as it did. Uh, a bone heart is basically half a spirit heart. I'll spend the key for that. I'll be on time for that. They do block shots, though. There is that. What is the dude singing on this floor? I think he says Capsaicin, right? Capsaicin. Don't go, don't go slow. Don't go too slow. I mean, we got a long way to decay here, but still. We, we got to fish a little bit. We're, we're living at the corner of survival and thriving here. I hear crawl space. Crawl space. I could, I could, I could hear that. With this many bombs, it would be nice to drop uh, a spirit heart from a blue fire while we're fighting. But it may or may not come to pass. And I I'm sure it's going to come up. You can't fill the bone heart as, uh, as a character that doesn't get red hearts. You just, as you can see right there, just sort of reflects right off of you. But it is what it is. Not today, not today. Just trying to keep the pace up a little. Okay, that's quite painful. That that one hurt. That that brought me a great amount of physical discomfort. But you know what? It is what it is. Who uh one one shot and we're out. This is like the worst way possible to handle this room. I'm I'm embarrassed with myself. That's not bad. It's alright. This run is... A, you, this doesn't happen on every run. You gotta embrace. We're only a hit away. Or we're only an item away on this one. All we need is one run changing item. Particularly in the avenue or the domain of hit points. And, and we're cruising, man. If this guy starts to attack, things can get dangerous. You just got... Luckily, like, 99% of the time I've ever fought this guy, he dies within, like, 15 seconds, but... You gotta be a little cautious. Or extinguish, please. We're headed down. The soul, please. The soul. Yeah, I suppose, I mean, there's a case to be made for, for everything, Jar. Because um, you can generate soul hearts out of it. However, I do think that the urn is not that impressive right now. But it may be of the utmost importance for us at a later juncture. As long as we got red stew damage, obviously, like, it's not that critical. But there may come a time... Where we don't have red stew damage comes a little bit more important there. Okay, good room, but a slow room. F, 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 F. And you gotta remember, like, you know, there's there's carts and there's horses. On this oh, you didn't block that. <laughs> There's, there's carts and there's horses. And on this run, the horse is our survival. The cart is our damage, right? If we lose our red stew, it's not that big of a deal. If we lose our life, it's real hard to come back from. So I'm not going to attempt to put in too much of a rush at the risk of my own survival. Wow, that was a huge whiff, dude. Um, obviously, we'd kind of like to keep it all going strong. We're not always going to have control over that, though. Ragman, you're, you, you beautiful creature. Plenty of time for us to just chill here. No damage being taken. Strength card. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but it, it do be existing. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. So many bombs. 
We've lost like all of our damage. I think you you now blow up fires. This would be a great time for a restock. You came back from the dead? Like restock spirit hearts? Just the spirit heart is fine. This is buddy in a box. Yeah, yeah, because it looks like a Funko Pop, allegedly. Um, give me strength. We might as well, while we're here, we might as well donate. Because this run may or may not be long for this world. I mean, it's just a fun item. Honestly, it, it may get us killed. But at least we'll briefly know what it's like to truly live. I shouldn't act like it's it's all bad. Like it, it, Most of the tier effects could actually be quite helpful. But <laughs> some of them, on the other hand, uh, can be quite harmful as well. Anyway, I, you know, I feel like we got this. This will be our last run, then we'll move on to that Trackmania Battle Royale. Which I'm excited to, to check out. How do you deal with chronically late people? That's a great banter question. Um, I, you know, it's, it's a hard habit to break, so I think some understanding helps. It also depends on... Like, what... The context is right my wife used to be chronically a little bit late she's better now so it, it and it, it took me being kind of a stick in the mud for a while for sure um, but but she uh, she's she's way more like a parent with that stuff but I also like uh, acknowledge like and this is a I'm not trying to insult my in-laws but Kate would tell you the same thing Kate's parents are like the nuclear level late most of the time to the extent that like if we're supposed to if they're if they say they're gonna meet us at like 11 a.m. even Kate will be like hold on we this is complicated like you don't put a rush in until like 1230 I think we want the invincibility here I think we're going to take Soul of Apollyon. We just use that for now. That's Star of Bethlehem. It's a very good item. So I, I acknowledge, you know, you got to you got to understand where those people, you know, where they get the habit from to begin with. Um you know, most people don't just decide to be late, I think, and this is a uh, false assumption I've operated on for a while. You know, they, they inherited essentially from other people um, that, that were influential in their lives. Okay, no problem. I guess I'll take damage for no reason. Um, this just gives us a bunch of flies. I don't know why I thought it turned an item into fly. Into fly? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, long story short, if you have a friend who's chronically late, you just start lying to them. They'll be mad, but they also don't have a leg to stand on. So, you know, if your friend's supposed to meet you at lunch, for one, they always show up 45 minutes late. You tell them to meet you at 12.15. They'll probably show up, by the way, at 12.55 and be freaking pissed. They'll show up five minutes early, wonder where you are, because they now think that they're 40 minutes late, but you're 45 minutes late. And then it's like, how would you disrespect my time like this? And then you, you know, drop the other uh, foot on them. And go like, hey, I told you the wrong time because I know you're going to be late. And then watch the sparks fly, man. But I think they'll get the point. That's, that's how it works in my head, canon, at least. <laughs> how to piss your friends off? Hey, here's another way to piss your friends off. Always show up 45 minutes late to everything you're supposed to be at. And also, not only that, but then lie to them while you're getting ready. 
Like, when you haven't left the house, be like, oh yeah, I'm on my way, and you haven't even, like, gotten into your car yet, and it's a 30-minute drive in your head, which actually means it's an hour, because you're factoring in you driving at the speed of sound and, like, quantum tunneling to your destination. And then, uh, another, th when you're late, just then lying about what made you late. Oh yeah, sorry, for the first time ever, there was traffic in the city. What am I supposed to do? Leave early, because there's always traffic? No, I I derive the travel time for a destination based exclusively on the distance plus the maximum speed that my car will travel. It's all these other cars that got in my way that caused me uh, to be late. Babysitter screwed us. <laughs> As the crow flies. Have mercy. I'm just, I don't know, just like, I, stop being so late. I get it, by the way, the early uh, problem is also annoying. Like, I, you also get screwed as an early person, not just because people show up late, but because you have, like, ridiculous, like, I don't mean ridiculous in terms of the amplitude, but just in terms of, like, the impetus. Your anxiety for early is, is so weird. You're like, you're supposed to be there at one, you end up showing up at 12.30 and looking like a, you know, like a total weirdo who's got nothing else going on in their life, right? And then you're, if you show up at like 12.01, you've been rehearsing your excuse in your head for like half an hour, right? Oh, sorry, I'm late. They're like, oh, it's, it's a minute. But then late people, I mean, like, I always laugh at like, when a late person shows up a minute early and they're like, check it out. Huh? <laughs> huh? Notice anything different? I'm supposed to be here at 1, and it's 105. <laughs> huh? Dude, you're gonna laugh at me? I think we have to take sharp straw here. Maybe get some HP out of it on the easy end? At least just for now. Um... Anyway, that's all I got. I was laughing. It's just, I, I'm just begging you to, to live in the real world. People were like, if I had friends who were late, I would simply just never hang out with them. I mean, you can do that if you want. You gotta, like, you know, you gotta cut people, like, a little bit of slack. And when we're talking about, you know, like, showing up for brunch or something like that, Somebody shows up half an hour late, that's not like a great reason to be like, I'm cutting you out of my life. Like, it's a little self-important. You just give them some crap for it and then be like, please don't do it next time. You both know they're going to do it next time, but that's okay. It reminds, it's like r slash relationships, you know, you see those like posts on Twitter. I asked my girlfriend to get me rye bread and she accidentally brought back... Chia seed bread. What should I do? Ah, uh, you should break up. Life's too short to deal with people who don't listen to you. Just, you know, just talk about it. That's a red flag. Someone not respecting your dietary restrictions? You, just, you know, you gotta have a little bit of understanding. I'm very glad I got a demon heart at least, but this run's looking a little questionable. What's your opinion on rye bread? I'm I'm very much for it. I really think humans weren't built to communicate this much. I definitely agree. Like I know that's um it's literally just ripping this off, like, wholesale from the the Bo Burnham special. But it's like, you really just, like, it would be great as, like, a society if we could learn to just shut up about, like, a couple of things. Like, everybody's opinion on everything is, like, it's just, it's information overload. Like, you're an 11th grade student from Lincoln, Nebraska. Like, I don't need to know 
what you think about something Chrissy Teigen tweeted in 2012. It's just like it's two non-issues for me. They're not. It's not enhancing my life to be exposed to this. It's. It's. I don't even think it's enhancing your life to to say it in the first place. Like. Give me a minute here. I'm still I'm doing stuff. Three spiders. Yeah, the worst part is all these people from Vienna are constantly like, as someone from Mozart's birthplace, here's my thoughts on this issue. And I'm like, bro, come on. Shut up. I know you're from Vienna. It's like a, it's a paradise. Get over it, all right? We all know. <laughs> we all know Vienna's amazing. You won't shut up about it. Like even now, this part about how like people should give their opinions less. People are like. Here's my opinion on why you don't see less opinions. And I'm like, you just don't get it, do you? Just shut up and pog. <laughs> so, fewer opinions. Okay, I'll allow the, the grammar. I'll allow the grammar. Saved. Did you know you added 6,000 Twitch followers yesterday? Dude, it was it was crazy. The the speed at which that follower count on like it it genuinely broke Google Chrome two times for me. It uh, I, I think Azazel's horn is kind of not that good, unfortunately. Other I'd, I'd be stoked to take it, but um, it, uh, it it was popping, man. No question there. It, I'm, I'm very thankful for the opportunity. No, that's Twitch followers, not Twitter followers. I don't know what I gained on Twitter. But the more you gain on Twitter, the more you lose, to be honest. Yeah, maybe I'll submit a verification request now. I don't know. I find it kind of funny, like, as time goes on. I, I don't really understand the point of being verified on Twitter, for one. So I find it funny when people are like, he hasn't been verified yet. What's up with that? Um, so it's, it's like really just a very, very long in-joke, I guess, that I've been doing. But they're also, I think you, to get verified, like in the olden days of Twitter, you had to send like a picture of your ID to Twitter or something like that that I just was not really willing to do. Now you just gotta submit something like in the app. But I find it kind of... I, you know what it is? Is like I feel a lot of camaraderie. Every once in a while I'll see like another streamer on Twitter with like, you know, 300,000 Twitter followers and they don't have a, a check mark and I'm like, my man. <laughs> I see we're on the same wave right now. go you go off the grid uh well i know you get a new tab like for only verified like only verified tweets make it into your notifications tab if you want that but that like operates under the assumption that like it's actually like a worthwhile filter to have only <laughs> <laughs> Only blue check mark tweets end up in your notifications. I see a lot of like see a lot of pretty ballsy takes from blue checks. I don't I don't know if it would make an enormous difference for me. I did see someone say Levy says it matters when he tweets NBA players to uh, do chess collaborations. Okay, in that one um unbelievably specific situation where you're asking professional athletes with no knowledge of your ecosystem if they'd like to co collaborate with you 
It may be. It's possible. It is funny to think about, though, like, someone like Gordon Hayward being like, this guy with 200,000 followers? I got no idea who he is, but if Twitter says he's cool, then I'm... <laughs> then I'm in. Hey, man, any friend of Twitter? That's a friend of mine. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, baby. Hello. You want to say, Appa? Appa? She's like, what the heck's going on over here? Everyone knows you can say Appa, but not Amma. She's working on it. She's still working on it. It's real. When she gets married, I'm gonna, that will be my first line. You said daddy before mommy. That, that, I mean, if we can laugh about it then, then I think that would be something that would go over well at the rehearsal dinner. Otherwise, I might try to not hold a grudge for that long. <laughs> for something she did as an eight-month-old baby. I still maintain that I think it's just the, the puss sound is easier to make. Not true. Than the muss sound, personally. Yeah, you're, you're, you're 29 years old, though. It's kind of a different story. I mean, it, it sh neither of them should be that hard for you. No. <laughs> In my opinion, at least. No, mommy gotta be easier than dad. Oh. Oh. Papa? Mama? Oh. Oh. Oh, she's grabbing the headphones. Dude, we got another rotten baby? Tell me there's no chance for a win without telling me there's no chance for a win. My brother's first word was dandelion? There's a 0% there's a chance that's true. No hair. Bald. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's okay. It's not like this is going to be a hard, uh, you know, final boss fight or anything like that. It's, it's the kind of thing where a distraction is actually advantageous. Well, we can at least check this room. There's always a chance. I <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. This changes everything. There's still a super secret room as well. We still got the strength card. This is like we're set, man. There's always hearts in the eddy stand. Okay. <clears throat> dunk, donkey, dunk. Okay, baby. It's final boss time. Yeah, Appa. And you can say, oh, see you soon. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, she's waving. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. I mean, this next fight, this fight gets a little violent, man. Look at that. She's throwing knives at me. And every time I get surprised by something. I go like, ah, and then she thinks that her father's in mortal danger because, like, the infant's mind is not uh, equipped to understand the difference between fiction and reality. Yo, yo, <laughs> okay. Dark arts do be pretty sick, though. Nice. 
No, the enemy HP bars are not from a mod. They are from, uh, well, they're from Spider Mod, which is uh, an item. I would not engage in resin like that. What the heck? Yeah, Dark Arts is doing some, some serious work. Okay, we just ate that one. <laughs> that was pretty nasty. The damage, though, dude. And then that damage rolls into straw. This is still pretty losable, though. All right, we're in a good spot. Don't get me wrong. Safe. Safe. No, no, no. Not to this attack. Okay, whatever. We won. Easily. No problem, man. <laughs> That's why you always take a strength card. The number magnet has appeared in the basement. Um, well, I mean, we did, we lost the streak, but it was only brief. And now we got Isaac and Judas done there. Look at that. Slash marker. Repentance. Number magnet. 